Greetings to all. I am career engineer Mujahid Sakar. Today we are with you guys in the first part of the weekly career management task series. Our aim here each week you define different tasks for you and fulfill this task until the next week. The aim of this in the medium and long term is as follows. If you perform these tasks regularly, for example, for one year, then you will find that the process fits and inspires you in so many ways. What incredible size am I talking about? You can think of it, but in terms of learning experience and as self-discovery, this process is like a journey for you. Each of the weekly missions are also different vehicles, bus, tram, ferry, etc. like. We need each of these vehicles throughout the journey. This journey fulfills career that is. You can also do it with your friends around you. But as far as I can see, these are not issues that we can apply with our friends around us. For this, we need a strategy separated from those around us. There is a good saying on this subject. We are all the average of the five closest people around us. For this reason, it is nece necessary not to be stuck in the same place all the time when determining to those five people. You should add people to your life from other channels as much as possible. There is no obligation to meet each of these five people and spend time together. This is our aim in career assignments. Let people who are interested in career management like you come together and network together. So now, after this introduction, let's get started with the career missions of the week. By the way, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I suggest you watch to them. First of all, researching people, domestic and foreign, who produce content on YouTube about your department. Our aim in the task is, regardless of your department in the global world, it's no longer possible to develop with the information provided by the school alone, because data is digital. Therefore, you must dominate this world. Especially considering that our audience consists of university students and recent graduates, this issue is much more important because you are one of the generations at the center of this digital world. On the other hand, this is one of the possibilities of doing business on a global scale. You can offer your product, service, or any other things to different markets thanks to any content you produce in this channel. As of 2023, this seems like a luxury, but it will become a necessary in the next five or six years. Competition is no longer at the local level, but at the global level. The work you do may not appeal to the global. It may have a local equivalent, but that's okay. Join subscription, email marketing, and other site hustle opportunities are increasing day by day. As long as you have a certain number of audience that follows you. The first way to achieve this is to research your equivalents. Who are the prominent YouTube content producers in your market? How did they make a difference here? What parts of you are better than them and or where you fail behind? Try to consume and reflect on them as much as possible. Of course, it's not possible to see all of them in a market like YouTube, but the more content producers 
we analyze the better for us. Thus, we can better observe our competitors and the possibilities of co cooperation with them. The second one, to write down what you have learned on this subject in your career agenda. Our second task is to write down what, the, what uh, you have learned on this subject in your career agenda. If you haven't watched the previous videos of the series, we have a ritual as follows. We set an agenda for the works in this series and we write our opinions, thoughts, comments on different subjects on this agenda. What we want you to write about for this week is your assessment of what you learned from task one. Our aim here is this. When you look back a few months from now, you will be able to observe better what affected you. This will allow you to better digest your learning process. You will see in the future, this quest title is one of the classic quests for us because to be valid for every subject, it's a very valuable learning process to research and think about a subject on then summarize it. The third one, dialogue with three people from any foreign language learning platform, e.g. HelloTalk. The last task, task of this week is to have a dialogue with three people from any foreign language learning platform. I would like this to be a sponsored content while online foreign, foreign language learning applications are also popular, but unfortunately, I don't have enough audience for this. So this is an organic task too. Our aim here is keeping the foreign language a center place in your life. Otherwise, if you don't keep that second language active in your daily life, you will forget it after a while. Therefore, you should have channels where you will constantly practice this. It will, be, it will be a little more difficult to do this in your social life, because I don't think there will be many people around you who want to learn the same second language as you, and of course want to practice it. Therefore, we need to establish such an environment digitally. So. How do we do it? I made a direct application suggestion because the, that is the job of this application. Therefore, people who come to this application are already logging, to, logging into uh, the application to speak that language with other people. You can also try to do this through social media channels such as Instagram. But I think your chances of getting productive results are much lower because almost no one will respond very positively to this purposeful message of a person from a different country and whom they have never met. This is our weekly missions, firstly. Hope to see you next week with new missions. Bye for now.